For ACUsports.com, I'm Grant Boone as we continue this preview of the 2015 ACU season. Talking a little O-line here with the O-line coach Scott Carey and senior left tackle Cody Funk from Gridley, Illinois. A little late night practice. Uh, that never hurts in West Texas, does it? No, sir. It's a nice, cool night out here tonight. It's good, good to come out here, get about an hour in. Yeah. Good practice. It's good to go. Cody, uh, let's talk a little bit about uh, your uh, really amazing emergence as as a dependable left tackle for ACU. You came in here uh, really fairly unknown to a lot of ACU fans, and all you do is start every game at left tackle and really solidify an offensive line that, that uh, protected a couple of new quarterbacks last year. Take me through that process of arriving at ACU and, and what you experienced last year. Well, I just had to arrive and uh, just get right to work. I mean, there's a lot to learn. I didn't know anything about kicking or run blocking as an uh, offensive tackle or a lineman. So just get in the weight room, working hard, uh, listening to everything coaches told me. I had some older guys uh, from the previous team helping me out, you know, whenever they could. And it was just hard work the whole time, just kept grinding. Uh, a lot of hard times, but I just kept pushing through it. And uh, it ended up being, you know, working out all right. I started uh, last year and... Uh, you know, had a decent year, and so it was just a lot of hard work, and it paid off a little bit, and I'm just going to keep on grinding and go from there. When you say it was a decent year, certainly we could point to some things like 6-6, six and six, going 4-4 four and four in the conference, and the team's first year playing a full Division One schedule. But when you say decent year, give me some ways that you define that. Um, I define that like I, I hold myself to a very high standard. I mean, I'm very hard on myself uh, personally. Uh, so when I say, you know, they can always do better, uh, we can always do better. Coach Carey, you know, he's always pushing us to do better and better. Um, we had a lot of big wins last year, mm -hmm. and we had a lot of close losses. So that was where I get the decent year from. Uh, we should close out more games, and it would have been a great year, yeah. you know. So we're just looking to improve on that, move forward. Right. Coach, uh, how much of what Cody has came from God that you can't coach, and how much of it did you, how much did you see in terms of growth from him in the things that you can coach? Right. Really, when I showed up, <clears throat> excuse me, he was a guy that was a big dancing bear, and I mean, I looked at him and I said, that guy, if we can get his feet right, he's going to be a football player. So, you know, we worked really hard. Cody, like you said, he has really high standards for himself, and it makes a coach's job easy because you can tell him one thing and he's going to go practice that and do the things that he needs to do to make that happen. So, it's an honor coaching him, I'll be honest with you. Uh, in, uh, the summertime, a word came down that uh, Riley Mayfield, who started every game for you last year, had uh, injured himself and would not play at all this year. Uh, for Riley, that's terrible. The good news for us, of course, at, at ACU, we think long term, we think that's a year that he gets to, to play in a time when we are eligible. It also gives you a chance to, to see other guys emerge. What have you seen in that regard? You know, we've had a lot of guys playing a lot of different positions this fall, and, uh, you know, we're kind of mixing and matching and guys are having to play guard, having to play center. So it's it's good experience for those guys, especially because we're still young up front. And, uh, you know, it's uh, it makes my job a little harder to, to, to teach a guy how to kick a tackle than teach him how to t kick a guard. But uh, <laughs> they've done a really good job. And, and these guys are really hard workers and they do exactly what you tell them to do. So We got uh, word, in fact, just in the last 72 hours or so that Hannah Shipley would be coming from LSU and transferring to ACU. He's got a lot of ACU ties with that Shipley name. Uh, of course, he's yet to put on an ACU uniform. Uh, and so uh, what do you know about, what can you tell ACU fans about uh, Hanner and, and, and what uh, potentially he could be at ACU? Right. Just what I know of Hanner just the last couple of days is, man, that kid is going to work hard. And he, you know, he's in my office and he's asking me questions and I haven't even given him a playbook yet. So, I mean, it's, uh, <laughs> it's kind of neat to watch him be so excited to be here at ACU because he does have, you know, his family that has been here and went to school here. And, and I think he's going to fit in really well. He's got a really good heart, and, and I'm excited about him. He's another big body for us yes. in, on the football field, but he also has a great heart and fits in with our guys. So it's, it's really nice. Last thing, when you see a guy like DeAndre Brown as a freshman uh, be a, a preseason all-conference player, when you have a guy like Herschel Sims who's accomplished already at the Division One level at, a, at two schools now when you think about what he's done at Oklahoma State originally, uh, what does that tell you about your offensive line and, and its capability? Well, you know, those guys make us look good on a lot of things. And, uh, 
you know, we just want to try to cover people up and that tells us that we're covering people up and we're, you know, we're doing the things that we need to do. And again, they make us look good a lot of times. So, you know, if we can just get in the middle of somebody and, and, and get in their way and let them work, we're in good shape. So, well, we, uh, a lot of us who have been thinking about this, uh, have come to the conclusion that Fresno State may well be the best team that ACU has ever played. Not even talking about how this year's Fresno State, uh, State team will be, that's yet to be determined, but in terms of history, in terms of a team that's accomplished an awful lot. They've got starting quarterbacks who've won Super Bowls in NFL uh, and current NFL starters. It, I would imagine it's going to be an enormous challenge for everybody on this team, but certainly up front. Right, definitely. They Defensively, they're very aggressive, and you know they fly around, and they've got some really good players, so it's going to be a great challenge for us up front because – the game's going to go how we go, and that's what I always tell the old linemen. You know, the game's going to go how we go, and if we can control those guys up front, we're going to have a shot. And, you know, if not, it's going to be a long day. So, you know, it's uh, one of those things they're coached very well. They've got very good players, and it's going to be an exciting game. This will be the first time that most of our kids have played in front of 50,000 people yeah. plus, and uh, a lot of coaches hadn't coached in front of 50,000 plus. So we're excited about it too, and, you know, it's going to be a great challenge. Well, this high-flying offense under Coach Ken Collins, both when he was offensive coordinator now and as uh, most recently as head coach, uh, has had some terrific skill position players. But when you look up and down the line, those last uh, 10 years, they've had guys like Cody Funk protecting those skill players and allowing them to do what they do best. For Coach Scott Carey and for Cody Funk, I'm Grant Boone for ACUsports.com.